I just made this delicious elote bowl. So, so amazing. If you want to find out how I made it, keep on watching. It's so easy. It literally doesn't take a lot. And it tastes so, so good. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the outer part of the onion. And I'm going to just start dicing the onion. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I love spicy, so I'm going to put a chile. This is a serrano. I'm going to put like half of it because I don't remember how spicy these are. I used to get these all the time and then we switched over to jalapenos because the market that we went to only had jalapeno. But I recently went to the market and they had these so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get these because I know they're a little spicy. And I'm going to go ahead and open the camera now. I don't know if I did it the wrong way. This is how you know I don't usually get canned stuff. Even though I literally, I have a lot of canned stuff right now. But I usually stay away from anything canned. But honestly, I felt like this was just going to be much easier to make. This way, I did not... I just did not want to make it harder on myself, so I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to get the can. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it open with the knife. I feel like there's a few spots that it didn't take off. I'm kind of scared to pop it up. Let me see. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay. I think I did it. It's enough where I can take it out. But I'm gonna take off the juice first. Uh oh. Okay. All the juice. Or pretty much all the juice is out. Now I'm going to go ahead and dump the corn in. Okay, I'm going to also put some butter in there. This is literally, this is literally my favorite, favorite butter. I know she's a little bit more pricier, but she is worth it. Like, so, so good. Okay, I'm going to put like a good chunk of it in, probably like this much. Okay, so I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to make this easier on myself. I got rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to go ahead and basically shred it and put it in a bowl and then just grill it in there. But I'm going to go ahead and just remove everything that I don't need here. And I'm going to leave this knife and set it to the side because I might use it later. But everything else, I'm going to wash it. I need to hurry up with my chicken. So I'm gonna grab like a good, good chunk and just literally start shredding. I know you could shred it with like forks, but I kind of prefer to do it with my hand just because I could really feel how, how like big the pieces are. 
because I don't want it to be like too big. Okay, and I actually feel like this is fine. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm just gonna continue shredding this piece and then I'm pretty much done with the chicken. Okay, but now I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up with everything else. So to this I'm adding some garlic salt. I'm adding some black pepper. I love a lot of pepper, so I'm gonna go heavy with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and start just mixing it up. When things have too much mayo, it really grosses me out, so I'm only gonna put this much. Or maybe just a little bit more. But that's it, because I do not like a lot. I'm going to also go in with some chili powder. You could either do chili powder or tahini, but I really want to do chili powder here. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. Alright, so this is how it's looking right now. It looks so, so good. I'm going to give it a taste test too, just to see if it needs anything else. But I think it should be good. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Okay, so the lotte bowl is done, and now I'm gonna give it a little taste test. It literally looks amazing. Oh my god, like, look at that. And the smoke is still coming out. I'm afraid to burn myself. Okay. Mmm. So good, but it's so hot right now. Literally, 10 out of 10. If you love elote, those street corn, try this. Because this is delicious and you can literally add whatever you want to it. I decided to do it a little bit more like traditional where I put the mayo, I put the butter, I put the cotija. The only thing I did different is I added a little bit of onion, like grilled onion in there, and I added a little bit of a serrano chile. I'm thinking I can also add like avocado in there because I love avocado. Probably will add avocado and I'll probably add a greens into it because I like something like arugula you could add if you want to it, if you want to make it a little healthier, but I think I'm gonna add alfalfa to this because I love it. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check my description down below. I have my boyfriend channel linked. I have the channel that I have with them linked down there as well. Go check those out, go subscribe, and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next one.